Okay, Celtics beat the 76ers in a game that seems seemed like it could have gone either way. Um, but Kyrie Irving just doing great, getting to the hoop with his quick step, his plant-based diet, his light, skinny frame, getting to that hoop with a quick first step, quicker than he's been in years, and lighter, lighter than he's been in years, and that's completely related, and also getting to the free throw line. So uh, if he hadn't been getting to the free throw line and get using his first step, against the relatively slow-footed 76ers defense, uh, we probably would have lost this game. Al Horford with a real nice comeback game. He had been in a bit of a slump um, and two early turnovers for Al, but he really overcame that and put together a really solid game. So the 76ers still lacking a little bit of that point guard defense. Um, But otherwise, they were very impressive, especially playing without Joel Embiid. Very impressive. Dario Saric was the player of the game for them with that ferocious Marcus Smart style defense and also putting up 18 points and 10 rebounds double-double along with four assists. So he was very, very impressive. Ben Simmons started out real hot. I was like, oh boy. But he did not drive all that much. You know, he didn't try to take over. He's got to play like Blake Griffin every night if he wants to be a real impact player especially with Joel Embiid out of the lineup, right? Joel Embiid's not playing, and Ben Simmons isn't trying to take over. Uh, I guess he did a little bit. You know, he got 14 shots, but uh, he maybe, I don't know. Celtics just kind of have his number so far, right, guys? In the two games, he just really hasn't done much. He got about four points in the last minute of garbage time when the game was already decided, so he only had like 11 points up till then, so... Um, but at least they didn't do hack a shack on him, and uh, he's still a solid, very solid game for the rookie. So he's a very impressive player, but he just hasn't shown much against the Celtics yet, and they just kind of have his number. Al Horford, one of the better defenders in the league, and then we just have so many wing defenders: Tatum, Jalen Brown, Smart, Ojale, uh, Marcus Morris. Uh, but their bench was outstanding, wasn't it? The 76ers bench shot like 70% or something, it looks like. So, but for some reason, still big negative numbers. The Celtics must have just gone on a real run that way. So maybe not quite enough defense on that second unit. Jared Bayless not looking like the best defender. He's always just kind of been a blah player, which is why he's shuffled around so much. But um, what happened to TJ McCall? He didn't even play? No, he must be injured. Anyway, guys, um, you know, Jalen Brown, best friend died, right? In the couple of days after an event like that, it's easy to keep your fire up in your spirit and play for him and all that. But what we're seeing is just the, um, the hang, the hangover, the, the time where you realize with, without any doubt that your friend is gone, your friend's gone forever. And his spirit might still be there, but it's not as fresh in your mind. It's not like he feels like he's still alive. The guy is gone. The guy is, you know. So he's just going through a phase right now, and it's it might last a little while, but don't read too much into it. Um, he's just, his head's not quite in the game. He's got a lot going on in his life, okay? And we saw that with the four turnovers, four personal fouls, and, uh, you know, his ball handling just very shaky. Only made one field goal, which was a dunk, right? So it might take him a little while to get his head back in the game. What are you going to do? Don't read too much into it. Uh, Jason Tatum really pulled through with another strong fourth quarter because he only had like two or three or four, five points going into the fourth quarter, it seemed like. I don't know. He must have scored at least seven points in the fourth quarter, right? So that was real big. Um Kyrie Irving's story of the game, Marcus Smart with the six turnovers was absolutely disgraceful. But again, as almost always, close to one of the leaders in plus minus. In fact, he was the leader in plus minus in this whole game. Uh, so just playing good defense and uh, getting the assists at least, right? Eight, eight assists, that definitely helps make up for the six turnovers. So Marcus Smart, a guy who may or may not be here long term, but um, hopefully guys like Shemi Ojale. He looked really, really good. And uh, on defense, he, he can guard anybody on that 76ers roster. Okay, anybody. As long as um, 
Embiid isn't playing, he can guard one through five all day on that team. And uh, he's just going to get better and better. He's a lot of fun to watch. But other than um, Kyrie Irving and Al Horford, Marcus Morris was arguably the next most valuable player of the game. And if his if he hadn't been hitting a shot and our bench hadn't been getting his production, we probably would have lost this game. Um, and again, getting to the line at a high rate, which is really, really nice to see him attacking that rim because we definitely need another guy who can attack the rim at will with a good jump shot to draw the defense out so he can attack strong. And uh, he was it. So coming through key clutch Marcus Morris with a nice big comeback game. So guys, let me know what you thought of this game. Are the Celtics still an elite team? They certainly seem to be going through a little bit of a lull right now, don't they? So hopefully over time, Jalen Brown gets uh, gradually gets his head back in the game. You know, I'm not worried about it too much. He's just got to be ready by the playoffs, and that's a long ways away. But, you know, all-star break, it's not looking like he's going to make the all-star team now. But uh, he'll get a week away from the game and uh, clear his head up a little bit, but that's not till February or something, but that's okay. And Gordon Hayward, I still think he's coming back, and boy, could we use his uh, playmaking ability, his passing, with the high turnovers of Jalen Brown and Marcus Smart, as we saw tonight. But guys, we are in pretty good shape. We just might not be a totally legit contender until if and when Gordon Hayward comes back for the playoffs. Even if he's just coming off the bench, that's another guy we will have. But uh, right now, it's a little bit of a lull. I'm not quite as confident on this team as I was. But, you know, if Jalen Brown gets his head back, we are good. We are very good. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Peace.